Jeff Coffey says he's having a rockin' good time touring with the Eagles ex-guitarist Don Felder. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Street Music. <laughs> Jeff Coffey left Chicago in 2018. He joined in 2016. Right after leaving, he got set up with Don Felder, ex-lead guitarist of the Eagles, the guy who gave us Hotel California, the great riff in there. And Don Felder tours an awful lot, has just released a, a great new album. Jeff Coffey's working on his own called Origins. And on Monday, we premiered the brand new song from Origins called Back on My Feet Again. It's a take on the Babies hit from the Union Jacks album. We talk about Don Felder. It's been great. It's been great. I love playing with Don and the guys, you know. He's got a really good bunch of guys out there with him. And, uh, you know, Don is out there having a great time. He's really enjoying himself. And you can see it, you know. And... Um, obviously the audiences love that Eagles music, you know, it's just great music. So again, it's, it's so cool to be able to play some of that classic music. Um, some of those tunes, which I've played many times in, in cover bands, you know, uh, but it's pretty damn cool to look over there and say, yep, yeah, that's the guy, you know, that solo that I've heard many times, he's playing it right now. That's the guy. It's pretty cool. I was just mowing the lawn before I got here and it, it was yeah. in my head. I'm going, okay. I, and I do a lot of, typical stuff like that before I do interviews and I'm mowing the lawn and I'm thinking to myself it's amazing how people know now I think I'm mowing the lawn I'm going Don Felder people know now they really know now because sometimes Fairweather fans don't always know every member of a band right. it's, a, it's a lot for them Peter Cetera on some of those summer tours some lady came up to him and said Peter you have an age today <laughs> so really? I was like what, what do you say to that thank you you know <laughs> oh no I, oh yeah but uh, yeah I'm, I'm surprised with that but you know you do have the you do have the hair and he went blonde he had blonde hair for a long time right 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 yeah so uh yeah Felder I think people know now I think people because he's solo and he's out there and he does a lot of interviews and he's very forthright about talking about he wrote the book yep. it, all those things after a while gets people it, it, people know that yeah he's that guy I think he really is enjoying the fact that he has a voice now, you know, uh, to to tell his story, you know, uh, which he's told many times. And now he gets out there and sings these songs. Uh, he's still playing fantastic, you know, uh, you know, and, the you know, the cool thing about it, too, at this stage in his career, he's still putting new music out, which I love, mm -hmm. you know, so it, that I love the fact that that's still part of his you know, vernacular. And good reviews, too. He got a lot of great reviews. I was yeah. reading the reviews of it. Are, are there <laughs> albums for you when you were growing up that you would consider, well, what's your favorite album of all time? Do you have one or is that too hard? Oh, yeah, that's, God, that's too hard. I mean, uh, there are so many albums that have really affected me. One of the, one of the biggest bands uh, that really influenced me was Journey and Steve Perry's voice. I mean, uh, <laughs> I tell people that, I'm like, that Steve Perry's from another planet. You know, that guy was... What he was doing, uh, no one, excuse me, no one could do at the time. And no one really, really has done it since. I mean, it, it's, he pushed the envelope, you know. Um, but the songs, you know, and the melodies, the, the impact of it all coming together like that, very influential band for me. You know, I was really into, in the 80s, I was really into Mr. Mister, you know. Uh, yeah, you know. Richard Page, man. Hey, another great tenor voice, you know. Um, guys who could really deliver uh, vocally, uh, uh, you know. Th those are the kind of bands that really turned me on. We talked about this last time, too. Peter Gabriel's another one of those guys that came out with some amazing music, you know. Um, very cerebral. Very, it, it stuck. It's like a, it's like when you go see a movie that just goes under your skin. It stays with you. Gabriel had the capacity to do that on record. Yes, yes. And another big vocal influence for me was Sting. I was a big police fan early on uh, in the 80s. And then I followed his solo career very close after he left. Uh, I Dream of the Blue Turtles, that first live thing that he did with his new band. Um, and I've been following him since. And, and Sting has the capability of taking you on a journey emotionally. Uh, it's some, some of it's very deep, you know. He'll have conceptual albums, you know, like Soul Cages. You know, what an amazing story from start to finish. It's all about, you know, the story of living 
living near a shipyard and, and sailing. And there's all this imagery and stuff. And it's just deep, moving stuff. That kind of stuff really influenced me. Jeff, Coffee Week on Rock History Music. You know, we've never done this before. We've never premiered a video. It was actually a very exciting thing to do. We're really excited about possibly doing more of this kind of thing with artists and having a week where we really spotlight one particular artist and one of my favorites and such a good guy, Jeff Coffey. You know, when there's been a lot of drama around Chicago, Jeff has always kept it clean. He's always taken the high road and we should have more of that. Hey, dirt sells. It does. It would get me a lot more hits, but I don't want hits that way. And neither does Jeff Coffey. So back on my feet again, The Baby's Hit. We premiered it on Monday. Check it out on this channel. Go to Jeff Coffee Music on Facebook. And tomorrow we talk about social media. Now, Jeff is a guy who's really, really done it right when it comes to social media. Talks to his fans all the time. That's our conversation coming up tomorrow. That and a lot more. Make sure you subscribe to our channel, share our videos, and comment on them as well. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Stream Music. Mm -hmm.